Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome back to my channel. So, I kind of was in a... I honestly didn't know what video to post next on my channel. I had so many ideas, so what I did is I went on to my Instagram and I made just a poll and I asked my Instagram followers if I should do a makeup tutorial, night routine, story time, or get ready with me. Um, so then my next two videos will be a story time and a, a makeup tutorial and a story time. And it's, I think we're going to start off with, um, story time. So, and make that story time about my injuries. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with my most recent injury because um, I kind of am now. I kind of don't want to call it an injury, but then it's basically is an injury just because I honestly don't even know how I even did this in the first place. I was also went to the doctor and basically they were just like, she thought that it was a muscle spasm and because she was like, it's very like stiff so she, uh, she said to put in the slang to help me keep it rested so that is that injury so my first like very very first injury was I think I was in like fourth grade and I played basketball um, third through fifth grade and I just started having pains in my knees like my knee would swell up like really really bad and like it would hurt and like walking was like really really bad so when I went to the doctor you know I got x-rays and MRIs but they really they showed out that my knees were normal so basically it was just like instant heat basically to help with the pain and medicine like to help with the pain but that honestly really it helped but it really didn't help happen and they sent me up to Children's Hospital to get like professional help, like a deeper help, and like basically they said that my ham that I had tight hamstrings, so I can't straighten out my leg all the way. So that was kind of okay, like soft, but it still. But my pain in my knee was all in here and in the front, so I was like, okay, that pain. But you're talking about my hamstring. I was like, how does that even make any sense? But whatever I don't know sometime in middle school I ended up pulling my hamstrings did that in my left leg at first and that was pretty painful that was my second injury then my third injury was I ended up pulling my hamstring on my right leg and my first time pulling my hamstring was on my left leg this time it was on my right leg. So basically I did the same thing. Of course I went to the doctor for both of them. They were like, oh, you just pulled your hamstring. I was like, uh huh, thanks. So I knew how to handle with that. So that was, I was also in sixth grade. I, that's when I started cheering. And I, my problems with my knee kind of came back. So um, my doctor advised me to get a knee brace. And basically the knee brace was to help with support um, so then sophomore year, um, I made it onto the varsity cheer squad for basketball season, and I injured my shoulder, haha, <laughs> this shoulder, different injury though, so then, then I injured, I sprained my rotator cuff, just like this injury, like, I couldn't move my arm, probably, this was probably the highest I could move it, and I couldn't do anything else, so for that, I went to I don't let that linger because I just thought I was sleeping on my shoulder wrong but no so I ended up going to the emergency room and that's when I kind of found out that I sprained my shoulder so then I went to the orthopedic center and they looked at it and they confirmed it they told me to wear a sling I had to do physical therapy to get my range of motion back so then junior year was quite interesting so junior year i made varsity for 
football season and varsity for basketball season. And football season, I, well, I was a flyer. I'll put a picture. And um, we were doing a stunt, and the, so basically I fell on my head. And when I fell, like, it wasn't on my forehead, it wasn't on, like, my face head part. It was, like, directly on top of my head. I was, like, doing an actual headstand, like, headstand. Like, it was crazy. But the funny thing, like, my coach and all, like, she, um, you know, she did, like, the concussion protocol. You know, she asked, you know, what's today's date, who's the president, da 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 And she was like, what's your name? And I remembered all that, and I honestly felt fine. But and I decided to go to band practice, and my band practice was from 5.30 to 9 o'clock. And just an hour, 30 minutes earlier, I fell on my head. So, And this was marching band. So I'm marching on the field, and all of a sudden, everything just starts getting fuzzy. Like, And honestly, that's all I remember. People have told me, like, they're like, Cameron, like, you were in the wrong spot. Like, I don't know what you were playing. I don't know what you were doing. Like, I honestly don't even... So I told my mom that I had a headache and that I fell at cheer practice. And she was like, why didn't you tell me this earlier? And so we went to the emergency room and I was there all night long. Now, I do remember this part. It just felt like I was there, like, forever. I was so tired. It was, like, 10 o'clock. I was like, it's past my bedtime. da 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 and, you know, when you have a suspected um, concussion, it's really, you're not supposed to go to sleep because, you know, you could black out or something fancy like that. So, I'm just chilling in this hospital. They finally called me back, and I went back. And then it still took forever for the doctor and nurse people to come in, like, my room or whatever. And they didn't even really do many concussion tests. Like, all the guy made me do was, like, follow his finger or whatever and he was like oh you're okay and I was like okay he was like you can go home have a good night I was like okay thank you so then we made a following appointment at my doctor's office and he did so many more concussion like tests like he made me stand on one foot with my eyes closed to check my balance let me tell you, I could not stand still, and I'm a flyer, and I stand on one foot in the air, and I could not stand on the ground on one foot with my eyes closed down on the floor. So I knew something was wrong with that. And then he made me touch my nose and then touch his finger. His finger was all, like, right here, and I would be touching, like, over here. Like, it was just crazy. I was like, what is wrong with me? Come to find out, I did have a mild concussion. I was like, I don't. Oh, just I was out of school for like three weeks, I think, and I was like so mad. My grade see, it was like week into not being in school, whatever. My grades dropped from like an A to like a D and E. Like I was like, dang, and I was so mad. But the most boring time of my life. Headaches? Oh my gosh! Like I get migraines on the normal, but concussion headaches are just. <laughs> it's just since I was finally able to go back to school. <laughs> Everything was fine. Well, everything was not fine because I had to take, bring up all my grades that were E's and D's and C's back up to an A. And mine at this time, I was trying to get into National Honor Society and your GPA had to be like a 3.5 and my GPA was at like a 2.0. And I was like, okay, this, I was like, okay, Kaylin, we got to get back on track. But guess what? I was inducted into National Honor Society anyway because I was able to get my grades up. But so that was football season. So then basketball season, we were doing the stunt. If any, you like flip out and then you hit the floor. Kind of hard to explain, but it's okay. You get the point. I was flipping out of a stunt. Okay, like front flip, like wee, and landed on the ground. But when I landed on the ground, I landed on the gym floor so hard, like I felt like a shock in my ankle, and I was like, great, like it hurts so bad. But mind you, we were doing this at practice. This was Monday. And then, so I kept practicing, da 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 and then we had a game on that Wednesday, and we had to do that stunt again because it was in the routine. And myself did not tell my mother or my father or my... And, well, after doing that stunt for the second time, well, more like 100th time, that pain in my foot was so bad. But I still didn't tell, you, tell anybody. It was... We performed for halftime, didn't tell anybody. I just, I was walking, I was taking it like a champ, I was like, it's okay, Kaylin, like, just walk it off, everything's gonna be okay, just survive, you got 
two more quarters left, let's do it. So I started cheering again. In basketball season, you have a lot of cheers that, you know, you stomp on the ground and I have to use that foot. And I was like, oh, geez. So at the end of the game, let me tell you, my ankle, foot, hurt so bad. Like, I was in tears. Like, I was crying so bad. So then I went to the orthopedic doctor. And basically, it came out that I sprained my ankle. So they gave me this thing. I was basically on crutches for, like, a good week. And then when I went to the orthopedic doctor, they took my crutches away. And they gave me this big old... Senior year, my goodness. So football season again, I was captain. I was quite proud of myself, but then when I hurt myself, I was like, no. So this injury was to my right wrist. And basically what happened, I was stunting again, and it was a stunt where I had to grab my back spots, hands, and we did just some crazy mess. And my thumb kind of went backwards because our grip wasn't right. That hurt like crazy, but again, myself didn't tell anybody. I just kept going, kept doing the stunt over and over again. I didn't tell anyone because we had pep rally for homecoming, and home it was basically pep rally spirit week. Pep rally was going to be on Friday, and then homecoming was that Saturday. And I was like, I cannot be in a cast. I'm not about to miss my senior pep rally performance, and I'm not about to be wearing a cast for homecoming. No, because I look like the whole... I look like a whole snack at homecoming. Like, let me tell you, I will sh put a picture in here so you can see it because, ooh, honey, I look good. But anyway, in here where your scaffold burn, in here where your scaffold burn is, and it hurt really bad. Like, my hand swelled up, like, it swelled up so bad. It was just crazy, but I just wrapped it, did everything on my own. I kept going to the trainer at the school. And she was like, you may have broken it, may have sprained it. But I was like, I don't care because I got things to do. So we just took care of it. So it hurt bad. And the day before pep rally, my coach was like, do you want to do this stunt? Do you not? If your hands hurt. And I was like, no, I'm going to do it. Brother, I'm hurting not. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'll be fine. Da, da, da. But deep down in me, I was like, I'm not fine. I was like, my hand is hurting so bad. I was like, ouch. I was like, no. But. I took like a champ again. So I think it was that Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday practice or whatever. I did the stunt again. Tried to figure out like the hand, like what was going wrong, but it still hurt. So I just did it once and did it done. Like I was done. And I remember going backstage and I just started crying. Like I not, did not want anybody to see me crying. But luckily my girl Jalen was performing with me and she came backstage and she was like, Oh, you okay? I love that girl so much. Y'all, she was in my last video, the Truth of Day video, the one with the pink shirt on. That's Jalen Kaylin. Haha, <laughs> we go by JK. Isn't that funny? That's so funny. Haha. <laughs> okay. And then she came by and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, girl, I'm not okay. I was like, my hand is hurting. I was like, I can't do this. And she was like, well, just take it easy, blah, blah, blah. And cheers. So Bam was first and I had to play my clarinet. That wasn't as too bad, but it was still bad. Like, it still hurt. I was like, oh, whatever. And then I was like, okay, time to perform. And that all happened, and then the game, after the game, what a coincidence, like, I was like, okay, mom, like, my hand is hurting, so we went to the ER, and they were like, you might have had a ruptured tendon, so they put me in a splint cast-looking thing, and then I think after that week, I went to the orthopedic doctor, and they basically, like, it's not a ruptured t um, tendon, they basically were like, you sprained some muscle or whatever in here. So then his last draw was I had to get a cortisone shot, which is and stuff. So we did that, and then the pain was um, pain basically went away like two days after, and I was feeling fine. And then the pain came back again, but he was like basically the pain that's an injury that could reoccur. So he was just like just do everything that you've been doing, and basically that's all my injuries. As you guys can see. I'm a very clumsy person. It's ridiculous. It's funny, but it's just ridiculous because I have so many ace bandages and knee braces and just braces of any sorts or whatever. But hopefully this, I thought I wasn't going to injure myself again, but then this happened. But you know what? I'm just going to take it day by day. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'm going to get another video out. I'm going to try and shoot for double videos. So 
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below different suggestions for me to open up for like my interests. I'm not just saying, hey guys, every single time I'm making a video. But you guys rock. You already know how it is. I'm your girl, Kayla Hopkins, and I'll see you in my next video.